Okay, so the reason why I wouldn't work at that job again is because one, I do not like how toxic the high-end luxury world is. Like, like I said, people only like you as far as you can help them. If you cannot help them, they do not like you. Basically, they will only like you as long as you're giving them what they want. And I just find that to be kind of toxic. It's not genuine at all. And I don't like, I mean, I get it, it's business, but it's just, it's fake as well. Like, it's very fake. Because then there's no like human decency. Nobody feels bad for you that you're doing 10,000 different jobs that they know if they were in your shoes, they would rip their hair out. Nobody feels bad for you that you're doing these type of jobs. Nobody cares. And I find it to be very funny that our whole team was black girls. We were all black girls. We were just, a lot of, like I said, a lot of the women that I worked with had jobs, okay? One of the girls, the girl that I said was slightly insecure, we're gonna call her Pinky. She had, a, she was doing nails. Like she's really good at nails, okay? She was doing nails. The next girl that I worked with, um, we're gonna call her Blondie. Blondie's black, by the way. Blondie is living her best life, okay? Blondie is not poor. She doesn't need this job. The admin girl that I worked with, admin girl don't need this damn job. Admin girl is what they would call black excellence. She's really smart. She don't need this job. But it's just like, they didn't seem to understand that, um, that we were doing 10,000 different things. And I feel like people didn't really have pity on us because we're black girls. Now, I'm not going to lie. Remember when I was talking about Jay the manager? Jay the manager is a very nice guy. He would always try to help us. He would always try to tell people, hey, you know, these girls are doing everything they can. Like, he was he was actually a very nice guy. He really did um, care. Would I do it again? No. I would not do it again. I would never do it again. Um, it is, like I said, it's a really good opportunity if you want to make more money. If you want to make more money, it's a good opportunity, but I would I personally wouldn't do it again. And I love I love high-end retail, but I'd rather be this is what I've learned. I'd rather be the customer than the person working behind the counter. I just rather be the customer because why why else? I saw I remember I saw this lady, this very pretty white lady. She came in, she had her air mask bag, she put it on the table. And she was sit waiting like this to get her stuff, um, to get her stuff gift wrapped calmly, sweetly, and quietly. And then she and her husband left. And I'm like, yes, this is what I want. I, I'd rather be the customer because it's stressful. People don't seem to understand how stressful it is. Like we were literally doing ten different jobs. We were giving customers their pickups, which involved in keeping track of it in an iPad. We were also doing our own gift wrap. We were also gift wrapping for elite. We we're also doing elite gift wrap. We we're also doing di um, cards, gift cards. Gift cards is not easy and it can be very hard. And and the line for gift and the line for those cards would be extremely long. So, and let me tell you something. Sometimes there would just be one person. There would just be me doing all four of those roles or all five of those roles it's not easy and there were times where other girls that i work with were by themselves too so yeah i would never i would never do it again because of that uh yeah and something that i think is funny like <sighs> i feel like yeah so that's just basically it i would never do it again